good afternoon my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is salah speaking of course before we go to the point of uh, live trades i have to show you something very very nice i have received it from one of my friends uh he sent it to me on telegram uh, he sent me this video he's showing us the results of the signals for actually two days uh, he kept the trades running and I wanted to show you this guys so the trades are going all in profit we can just see only two trades are actually in loss total is $383 profit he made I'm sure this was his real account otherwise why would he be making the video and why would he sign up for the premium service so that is very good and I'm happy for his uh, results not only that but just to see uh, the lot size he's using is just 0 0.1 which is actually safe and we recommend for using for our signals uh, I don't know how much was his balance I, I assume it is uh, more than thousand dollars at least but uh, it was very good uh, signals day and I'm very happy for him and I really wish him the best and not only for him of course for all our friends who have joined uh, the service please don't forget that if you want to join the service uh, please contact Angela you can find her uh, uh, link on telegram in the description so now let's go to the main point of scalping I'm planning to make at least five trades in this uh, live trading video and I will show you exactly what I'm going to do to make the call for each trade so if you want to see what I'm doing notice something here that in my platform I placed all GBP pairs all together uh, GBP pairs right now i really don't like to trade them because they are somehow risky the pound usually when you see the pound rising on one pair you will see it rising on other pairs as well that's because of the brexit news and the government issues they are having right now so i'm not really a big fan of trading the pound right now at the moment so i prefer to uh, just look for setups on other pairs so talking about that <clears throat> let's uh, now scalp the market only we're not going to make long-term trading we're just going to make uh, some scalping so now i'm on the euro USD, and i see that the pair is approaching a resistance point this resistance level here we can see that we have here a resistance number one and the candle is approaching the resistance number two now uh, let me tell you why did i count this as R1 or resistance number one there is a reason if we go to the left let me just delete the other one so there will be no confusion all right so let me tell you I noticed this question from so many uh, subscribers asking me why did you count this as resistance number one is it meaning that there was no resistance before in the past if we check like years back there we will not see any resistance the answer is absolutely not you will see plenty of resistance levels uh, or sorry res resistance attempts on the same level we starting the count for the resistance right after we see this breakout look at this breakout we had this uh, breakout candle which has started here and closed here so now on this level we see that there was a support and here also there was another attempt of, this, of the support this support level after the bearish, uh, the bullish, sorry, the bearish breakout candle has finally become another resistance, and the position of the resistance kept itself there. So after the bearish breakout, we can start the counting. So we can see support, support, bearish breakout, resistance. So this is resistance number one. This is the one I really trust the most, more than attempt number two, to be honest with you so seeing that we can tell that we can expect a, re a reversal on the attempt number two of this resistance and keep in mind we only trade the second or first attempts we never ever no matter what happened don't enter the third or onward so now i remember i'm on the four hour chart uh, let me switch to the 30 minutes time frame uh, okay so let me just go to explain another thing 
as I said before, if I want to do some sculpting, I need to draw my resistance line in a way touching the top of both of these wicks, or sorry, the top of the shortest wick. So in this example, if I want to zoom in, we have this uh, blue candle with a wick like that, and we have the red candle with the small tail and short wick at the top. The right way to draw my resistance, my resistance line will not be on the top of the wick here. It should be in a way touching both of the wicks. So the right way will be touching the top of the shortest wick. So the shortest wick in this example, we have this long wick here and we have this short wick here. So the right way to draw the resistance line will be like this. It's just touching the, the head or the top of the shortest wick. Now, why do we need to know how to draw the line? That is another question. The answer is we need to know the best entry we can ever find on this pair to not lose any pips and to gain actually more pips as much as possible. So seeing that on the four hour chart, Let's go back to the 30 minutes time frame or 15 minute time frame if you want. We can see that if we did not see the four hour chart, it's not really easy to know that we have to draw the, the resistance line like that. So this is actually the entry point we are seeking. If I did not see the four hour chart, I might actually draw my line right on this top, the top of this week here. And the pair might actually start reversing at my uh, the, at this blue line and therefore because I draw my line incorrectly I will be waiting for the setup to approach for nothing so I will actually waste this setup that's the reason we have to know exactly how to draw the resistance line that is very important key element in my strategy and that's why we need to use the four hour chart to have the best and accurate uh, entry possible so go back to the 30 minute or 50 minute time frame. We can see that the pair is rising up. It's approaching my entry point. And let's assume if I have entered my trade here on this blue line, on the resistance line, where should I exit my trade? Another good question. If we enter here, we have to exit our trade at the next nearest support or resistance. Now from this whole setup, we can see where is the nearest resistance? to this resistance? The answer is actually this one here. Well, this is the nearest resistance we are having. Remember guys, we are just scalping the market. This is not swing trades. This is not long term. So you have to know where to enter and where to exit and just like bam, just exit your trade with a profit. So if I enter here and I exit my trade on this resistance, I can be looking up to about six pips of profit. So now, the best thing we can do, I will just wait for this candle to touch this uh, blue line here. And let's see how many pips I can make. And I will show you the trade, guys. So now allow me to just pause the video and let's see what will gonna happen. The candle is approaching. It was just seconds since I paused. And I'm going to place sell right at the touch of this blue line. Let's see how much accurate my entry will be. I'm just waiting for the candle to rise a little bit more up. A little bit more. And remember, because I'm using IC Market through ECN account, you can notice now that my entry point or the, my, the trigger level will be exactly on the current price. Because, oh, sorry, this is standard account. Uh, okay, no problem. Still very good. It's almost there. And the cell was placed. Done. Notice that. Notice something. The reversal happened immediately. Look at that. The candle already reversing. And as I said, I want to scalp the market. So what I will do is I will place my tra my take profit just right here. Almost five pips of profit. Now you might tell me that, man, come on, five pips is nothing. It's not worth it. But the answer, this strategy have a very high winning ratio. If you use it properly, you actually will have a lot of uh, winning trades uh, along the day. So across the day, you can expect about, I would say, 15 trades. 
imagine if each of them will have like five to six profit pips of profit you will end up in actually a pretty good uh, amount of profit let's say even if you lose one trade you as again i'm telling you the winning ratio is very high and if you lose one trade you can actually recover from the next coming trades so out of 15 trades i can tell you that if you are following my rules as i'm saying it you can win at least you will lose maximum two to three trades maximum not more than that if you are losing more than that that means two things either you are following the the conditions wrongly you are not following the the strategy rules or the market is pretty much uh, screwed up and you should stop the trading don't do any more trades because the market is just uh, not in good condition so now we can see the trade uh, the price now still uh, ranging there but the candle actually showing signals of reversal that's good we can expect a reversal now and the candle indeed as you can see guys is going a little bit more down and go more down more down and i'm getting uh, already in profit two dollars so now as you can see the candle is reversing and i am being in profit uh, allow me please to save your time and pause the video to see what will gonna happen later and we can see the candle actually reversing and going down the reversal is happening as i told you uh, just because i don't want to make this video running for a long time as i told you always uh, i will po i will actually close the trade right now and that's it let's get now to another trade now absolutely you can keep the trade running for longer time if you want because on the four hour chart if you look carefully actually this resistance level is a strong level and i believe the candle will actually reverse and go a little bit more down the only issue to be honest with you guys uh, making live trading videos is not easy at all because some trades are actually taking so much time and i have to, cl to open and cl close the trade in front of you in the video so that's why it's really frustrating for me to make the live trading videos and that's why i'm just closing the, the trade with just a decent amount of profit without waiting it to hit the take profit uh, as i told you it's gonna take really long time and i don't have time for that i need to uh, make the video and close it uh, quickly uh, allow me to show you this trade which i have missed uh, this is following the hit and run rules this is a support level i see here all right so after the support level we can see that there was a bearish breakout followed by bullish breakout now what do we know we know that if we see a support level and followed by a bullish breakout candle this support level will keep the position as a support as i've told you always so if we want to draw the this line here in uh, in the way i'm telling you always make sure when you draw your support line to include the shortest wick in these reversals and if we see the way i draw my my support line i have included all of the wicks now look at, look at the reversal sorry uh, it was like that like that look at the reversal it happened exactly where i have drawn my support line and if we check 15 minute time frame we can see that it already reversed uh, almost 2.6 pips <clears throat> we can still wait actually maybe the candle will go a little bit more down and i can enter a trade uh, this support level is very strong and i'm sure at least we can expect a reversal until approximately maybe 10 pips why because this is the nearest support right here the nearest support to this breakout is this support level here this is the support here right so if you enter your trade right here you can exit your trade at this support here and that is approximately 10 pips so yeah that was a setup that we have missed because i was busy with the euro usd now you might tell me why don't you enter I tell you I really don't like to enter late I either enter at the right moment or I don't enter uh, the experience has told me that of course nothing is uh, guaranteed in Forex um, not being a greedy 
is one very important key level to be a successful trader. And I'm not a greedy person. The experience or actually the hard lessons I have learned from experience, my experience has taught me a lot that I should not be a greedy person and I should always be waiting patiently for my best entry. If I missed it, not a word, no problem at all. Uh, the market is here, it's opened uh, forever. It will give us uh, a lot of uh, thousands, even millions of other opportunities. So it's not a big deal. If I miss one opportunity, that's totally fine. I can just move to the other one. So let's try to find something. Now, this is something important. Look at that. Look at this, guys. We have here this uh, bullish breakout candle, all right? Where is the nearest support to this bullish breakout candle? The support is right here. So let me draw my line in a proper way, touching the shortest wick. I believe it's happening. Uh, it's almost happening. Yes, you can see the candle approaching this level. This is uh, this is my line touching the shortest wick. And I'll switch to the 30 minute time frame. And we can see that. Let me just confirm it. Yes, the line touching all of the wicks. And I believe we are about to have the best. Yes, perfect. Now, I have entered my trade right on this level as I draw my line. Let's see what will gonna happen. We can see already the, ca the candle is showing uh, symptoms of reversal. It's, uh, it's almost reversing. Now, since I entered my trade here, now I'm on the, uh, on the 30 minute time frame. If I enter my trade here, I will exit my trade on the nearest support, which is right here. Right here. So that should be about six pips of profit. We can see now the candle almost reversing. You have to keep your eyes on the trade. Sometimes the trade might fail, of course. And that is, you can tell that the trade will fail by seeing the candle movement. It's not showing any symptoms, any signals of reversal. The breakout of the level has happened and the candle is just continuing to go more and more down. At that point, you have to close your trade with a loss. Accept it. No problem. You can do plenty of other trades to recover from this one loss. That's totally fine. So I'm going to switch to the five minute time frame. Let's see the price action. And on the five minute, I can see the candle already reversing. That is wonderful. I am already now in profit. And allow me please to say to pause the video and show you what will gonna happen uh, with this trade. And we can see the reversal happening indeed. Uh, the candle is approaching uh, my exit level, four dollars of profit, almost three pips, which is actually not bad. Let me now close the trade and finish uh, this one. As I'm telling you, that's what I'm doing. Just, just hit and run. That's why I really enjoy scalping. It's so much more safe. Uh, I the Okay, wait. <laughs> wait, we have a good setup approaching. Uh, now, what, let me tell you, now I'm on, on the four hour chart, uh, the CHFJPY, this is very simple. We can see here this is a resistance, and here we have a resistance. Then, after this uh, resistance has been broken out by this uh, bullish, followed by bearish breakout candle, we can see finally that we have this long bullish breakout candle, followed by, of course, a support. So this was support number one. Now we are approaching on support number two. The candle still did not reach uh, this level. Notice the way I have drawn my line in a way touching the shortest week among these two candles. So we can see these two tails. And the, ca the support line I have drawn is touching the bottom or actually the shortest, the top of the shortest what am I'm, what I'm saying? The bottom of the shortest uh, week among these two. So let's go to the 15 minute or 30 minute time frame. Let's see that what I did on the four hour chart is also accurate on the 30 minute time frame. Now we can actually wait for the candle to actually just touch this point here. And I'm just seeking a small reversal. I'm just seeking some, some pips here and there just to exit my trade with a profit so I can actually be safe because we can see this um, bearish momentum is quite strong. 
definitely if you are planning to place buy here you do not want to keep your trade running for a long time that's why uh, I will be very careful with this trade I will just wait now now the new candle has born now I will just wait for it to reach this level and then I'm going to place my trade and allow me now to pause the video and show you what will gonna happen later hmm we can see that this setup maybe has already reversed uh, please not notice something maybe I have drawn it uh, incorrectly on the 30 minute time frame because if you want to be accurate this was indeed the right way because like that I have included all of the wicks here and we can see the candle has reversed exactly on this level mm, actually I noticed that but I trusted the four hours more but anyway, we can see that the market can't be loyal the whole time and the reversal already happened and we have just missed about 7 pips Bummer, it's fine uh, We can just now try to find some other setups uh, Let me look for some other trade we can enter right front of you uh, I want something that's not gonna take time That's something that actually gonna happen now I'm just looking here and there uh, let's check the pound maybe there is something something interesting now I really want to avoid the pound the po the pound one mistake can be actually costly so uh, guys I will now pause the video until I find the setup so I can share it with you so finally I have found this setup here we can see that we had a support number one earlier on this level and now we are having a support number two approaching so uh, it will be actually wise if we switch to the 30 minute time frame let's see uh, I think the reversal already happening uh, the right way to draw the support line will be actually in a way including the shortest week also actually it should be like that so I think I hope I'm not late but let's see what about this level here I think this level is actually making more sense and therefore to be safer I will just wait to see what will gonna happen to this current candle um, to be honest uh, this bearish momentum is strong and I believe this candle actually might, let go, might go a little bit more down to touch this support level before start reversing but however uh, we can see a reversal already happening and I just wait I need to wait to see how this can do reacting to this level uh, so far it reversed oh, just two pips only that's it okay uh, let me now pause the video and show you what will gonna happen and let's hope this candle will go a little bit more down to this support level I have drawn here let me tell you something uh, I am here now on the GPP CAD and we can see the candle has already made a breakout uh, level uh, mega breakout candle from this resistance and this resistance as well and there is now a red candle approaching now if we want to analyze it look at the left we can see that we have here so, sorry we have here this week here this week here is actually a support and therefore I am now on the one hour chart and therefore let's wait and see uh, I believe maybe not no I wanted to place buy but it's very risky because we have this uh, price action on the resistance level indicating that the market actually going down and the pound we have to be very careful when we are trading the pound and indeed I have actually made my level here so this is the support level here and now we can see that we have here a bullish breakout candle from this resistance and this resistance in other words we have here a resistance number two and here resist uh, sorry this is, this is uh, resistance number one and here we have resistance number two has been breaking out so meaning we need to look more to the left to find the nearest support where is the support the support is right here so we have to wait for this market or the candle to go a little bit more down for this support level here and then there I'm going to place 
my buy order right on this level because this support let me delete these lines this support as I draw the line on it is gonna keep the position after the uh, bullish breakout candle it will keep the position as another support so if I didn't find good setups I'm going to actually place my trade right on that level now it might take some time but uh, yeah look at that even on the four hour chart it's even more clear that is how you draw your support line on the support um, in a way touching the shortest wick and we can see the bullish breakout from this resistance very very accurate when you analyze it on the one hour or 30 minute time frame you can jump to the four hour just just to confirm if uh, your trade does seem like it makes logic and make sure you are not placing buy on the resistance or placing sell on the support now however uh, I have to find some other trades I'm just uh, jumping look at the euro USD the euro USD we accept about if I'm not mistaken maybe five pips but the pair is actually reversing making so far 15 pips of profit as I told you this uh, resistance level is actually quite strong and don't feel sorry because you exit your trade earlier don't keep thinking that you wish you kept your trade running so you can earn all of these pips remember you want to be st uh, safe in this market don't try to actually chase the pips uh, don't to try to show off by earning so many pips that is not gonna work on long term you can actually blow your account accept a few pips and you will be safe that's my logic that's my philosophy in trading forex so right now we are jumping between the pairs I still cannot find a good setup okay now I'm on the one hour chart what I will do is I will jump to the 30 minute time frame and let me try to find setups there now here the pair on the four hour chart I am on a support level on 30 minute time frame we can see that no that's not gonna work let me try to find something else on the smaller time frames uh, now I'm on the 30 minute time frame and I'm going to try to apply hit and run rules on this time frame just try to find some good setups what I'm trying to find now is a clear setup where I can see a breakout candle after a support or resistance right now I cannot see that mm, euro USD is uh, falling down USDGPY however is also falling um, the USD CAD looks very attractive to trade need to be sure I need to be sure that this level was also a resistance in the past otherwise I cannot enter so switching scrolling back in the history uh, let's see uh, no the resistance actually is higher it is actually like that uh, let's go more it was a resistance as well in the past it was a support it was a resistance so this level actually does make sense and we can see that we had a resistance number one first attempt and actually I might enter wait a minute please wait a minute look at that look at that check this candle here this candle the middle one it's indicating that the price has actually reached this level and then reversed all the all the way down to the time of opening this candle so we can see that the pair has already reversed five pips already hmm I don't want to enter this trade it might be risky and in order to be safe I will ignore it just uh, jumping between the pairs I'm not pausing the video because I want you to stay with me and see the reality when you are trying to scalp the market how can you pick your trades how can you pick your setups what do you use how much time do you wait actually if I do that uh, it will take hours 
trying to be safe in this market is not easy oh wait a minute now it's approaching the support level as i told you before and i'm going to place the buy yes all right good yes uh maybe i should have placed the buy another buy right now mm, no i will not do that it's barely one pip below not a problem but that is the level where i was waiting for the market to reverse if we switch to the four hour chart on the euro gpy we can see that this is the support number one and we are waiting for the candle here to make the support number two switching back to the 30 minute time frame we can see that the candle is currently on the blue line of the support where I have drawn it actually uh, there was some uh, high spread of actually uh, one pip yeah an IC market that con cons that's considered high pip high uh, spread sorry so we can see the candle now still going against me and I'm still hoping that it will reverse so far it seems like it's gonna reverse but we just need to wait some more time this is the 30 minute uh, candle and according to my uh, candle uh, lifetime counter we can see that on the CCTR indicator uh, this candle still have 1 minute and 36 seconds in its lifespan time so let's just wait and see you can see the candle already reversing i believe this will be a good trade and since we entered here let's see where is the nearest support the nearest support will be actually right here meaning i should expect approximately uh, seven to eight pips profit from this trade so now let me pause the video and show you what will gonna happen later if it failed I will show you how to close it with the loss and how to chase it to track it to know that it is indeed must be closed with the loss. So let me now pause the video and show you what will gonna happen later. Okay, now this thread seems about uh, to be in uh, going in loss. Allow me to show you the reason why I believe it will be in loss. Now we can see the mo the momentum. The candle is actually moving strongly now to be going down. So far, it doesn't show any symptoms of reversals only when i started talking it is showing it uh, let me now tell you something i'm on the 30 minute time frame if we switch to the five minute time frame what do we see here we see that we had here a resistance and the, there was a bearish uh, breakout candle and the candle and the market went down now the same thing is happening i have entered here on the resistance remember i'm on the five minute time frame and what happened is there is now a bearish uh, candle now most likely the history will repeat itself uh, on the five minute time frame we are still 40 minutes 14 minutes away from the uh, closing of this candle let's see how it will close if it close as this breakout most likely then this thread is going in loss and I have to close it immediately now the candle closed uh, as a full bar and most likely it will continue to go more down but let me just be sure before rush let's give it some time maybe it will reverse in the end let's go to the 15 minute time frame we can see that this candle here closed below the support so there is most likely this candle is uh, this trade is going in loss now what i want to do is i want to reduce the losses to the maximum by just waiting for the candle to go a little bit more up to hit again this uh, support level let's see actually this this support level is very strong on the one hour chart and the four hour chart it might not be really wise to rush to close it just wait don't rush let's just wait and see what will gonna happen if this candle also will be red candle then i will close it with a loss and even if it reverses later i will not regret because i am i'm doing what i need to do to be safe i just uh, actually this will be very useful it's not realistic to show you that all in all my live trading videos i am just keep making money and profit over and over now we can see the market seems to be going more down and i believe i will close the trade with the loss and that's it no need to risk more it might reverse later but I want to be safe and therefore I decided that I will close it 
So let me now try to find something else. Let's go back to the four hour chart and try to find something that we can actually use. So far, there is no much opportunities. The market not giving us much opportunities. Uh, uh, please, let me now pause the video and try to find something uh, good and then I will come back to you. Sorry, my friends, it took me a really long time to finally find another setup. It's approaching right now. Um, allow me to explain to you what happened. So we can see on the four hour time frame for the CHFGPY, the pair is actually falling down. And what we are seeing here, this blue candle, this is a, uh, a breakout candle. And we can see this tiny uh, wick here. This is actually a small resistance. Remember, I'm on the four hour chart. So if we go to the 30 minutes, we can see it clearly as a resistance. Then we see here on the, uh, on the past, also it was a support. And also it was a resistance as well. And also here, it was a support. So this level is strong, what I'm trying to tell you here. So if we switch to the 30 minute time frame, um, let's see, look at that. Now I'm waiting for the candle or the price to reach this blue level I draw here, the blue line here. So the same level, we can see this resistance I told you about in the uh, earlier. So we can see it was a resistance in the past, followed by this uh, bullish breakout candle. Then in the past as well, it was a support. And the line is drawn perfectly on the uh, support level as we want. So we have to wait now for the price to come a little bit more down before placing the buy option. And in this view, I think it's more clear. You can see it uh, clearly. So let's now wait and hopefully we can recover the loss we made in the previous trade and also make profit so we can end this uh, live trading video. So uh, I will pause the video, for, uh, the video right now and let's wait and see what will gonna happen. Uh, let me tell you something. Now we can see that the candle already reversing, but I believe it will go down again and it will actually reverse right on this blue level or sorry, blue line, which I have drawn here. So how can we still be prepared for this uh, uh, pair? So let's see now the candle is going up. So I want to be prepared so that even if the candle will go a little bit more up, I want to be ready for placing my sell order. Now let's see something. I am on the 30 minute time frame and we can see that we have here a support and here also these weeks here representing a support as well. Now we can see that here we have this uh, bearish breakout candle, meaning this was a support which has been broken earlier. So the thing we need to focus on is the nearest, sub, uh, sorry, the nearest resistance to this uh, bearish breakout. So if we look at the left, we see here a support, we see here a bullish breakout, and there we are, we see the resistance. And even here we see the resistance, and even here as well. So this is a resistance level. So we can expect that the market should reverse uh, at the touch of this level. So now what we can do is waiting for this candle to go a little bit more up, and then I'm going to place sell once it's touched this, uh, the blue line, which I draw here, on the resistance level. I doubt if it will go a little bit, I, I doubt if it will go more up because this is actually the closest resistance level to this uh, breakout. I mean, if it will continue to go more up, if it will continue to go more up, then that's actually a difficult call because we can see that here, at this level exactly, we have the next resistance. So we just need to wait for the market, or sorry, the candle to go almost five more pips to go up and then I'm going to place sell order. And then, of course, since I want to exit at the nearest support, uh, if I place my, my sell order here, I will exit my trade at the nearest support, which is right here, uh, 12 pips away. And this time I need to stick to the 12 pips because I need to recover uh, the previous loss and also hopefully to make some profit. So anyway, uh, allow me please now to pause the video and wait for the candle to see where it will go and I'm going to place the sell order if it touched this resistance or I'm going to place the buy 
if it touch this support <clears throat> we can see the candle now approaching this resistance level and I'm about to place my sell order to be honest I'm going to increase the lot size just to faster recovery of the previous losses and let's wait the right moment to place the sell and I think that's that should be fine yes that should be fine so now we place the sell order right on this resistance and by the way if we switch to the one hour uh, sorry I mean for the four four hours we can see it even more clear than on the 30 minutes we can see clearly that here we have a support has been broken out and then if we look at the left for the nearest resistance we can see these two wicks here uh, acting as the resistance not only that but even here these three weeks acting as a resistance and even here as well so this is indeed a resistance level which has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle so <clears throat> we just need to wait now and see how the market will react to this level and hopefully it will give us some uh, good profit and I believe I want I want to exit my trade at the nearest support which is right here that should be around nine pips make it nine pips yeah that's it so now let's wait and see what will gonna happen and I will come back to you guys after this trade finish and as I told you we can see the reversal happening already uh, now I'm on the 30 minute time frame and we can see the candle has closed and switching to the five minute time frame we can see that uh, it's possible for even more uh, now yes exactly more so now I have recovered my previous loss and also with a profit and let me now close the trade and that's it so now I can continue uh, trading today uh, it's gonna take some time to find the setups but at least now I'm fine I have recovered the, my loss from the last trade and that is what I'm trying to tell you that last trade even if you see it reversed again and go in your direction and you regret closing it with the loss don't be sorry because this strategy I'm telling you here is very powerful it's very effective and you can have really high winning ratio so please guys give this strategy more time and practice it more and believe me it will change the way you see Forex so guys I really wish that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching